Number 14 from the 2016 New Higher Maths Paper 1. Part A for one mark. It just says evaluate this for one mark. Well, quite simply, by definition, log base 5 means what power of 5 produces 25, so the answer is 2. However, you may wish to go through the palaver, as it's called, which is to say this. Well, how can I make 25 into a power of 5? I know, I'll make it into 5 to the power 2. Then I can take that out to the front and make it log base 5 of 5. And then I can say, now what is this log base 5 of 5? Well, it's 1. Why is it 1? Because 5 is 5 to the power 1. And then arrive at the 2. I'm pretty sure you should get the mark just for stating 2 straight away, though. And so, part B. For 5 marks, solve this equation here. That looks like a bit of a gift. There's only a couple of things you need to do. Join those logs together and then remove the log. You already know the value of that. Dear me. Log base 4 of. Adding the logs means it's a logarithm of the product. You already know that log base 5 of 25 is 2. The answer to this part is simply inverse of log is 4 to the power 2 which is 16. So expanding that out gives you x squared minus 6x minus the 16 equals 0. A wee quadratic here, which being paper 1 should hopefully factorise. Multiply to give 16 with a difference of 6, it would be 2 and 8. The negative goes to the 8, that says they're opposite, giving me two answers. x equals negative 2 and x equals 8. Checking the initial conditions, x has to be greater than 6, which means x is 8, since x has to be greater than 6. Now, the only way that you might wish to do something differently would be to do the wee logarithmic palaver dance, as I would call it, and create a log on this side, and say here, I've got log base 4 of x, x minus 6, but alas, I don't have a log on this side. But if you multiply it by 1, you won't change anything. And log base 4 of 4 is 1. So that means that log base 4 of x times x minus 6 is log base 4 of taking that inside 4 squared. And you arrive at x times x minus 6 is 4 squared. Taking you back to here. I've never understood why they make you do that. When the very first thing you learn is, at the very beginning, when you're doing inverse functions, is that the logarithm is the inverse of the exponential.